I'm Action Jacqueline and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be helping you understand your own body. So I'm gonna help you understand where your ab muscles are in your body and you're gonna learn why they're important, why this mind-body connection to your muscles are important. And then we are actually gonna go over how to activate and improve the mind-body connection between the mind and the ab muscles. Because I know a lot of people have a hard time activating them, they have a hard time locating them and understanding really how it works inside your body. So I created this video in, in inspiration with the 100 rep six pack abs challenge. So if you haven't signed up for that yet, I highly recommend that you go and do that for yourself. Otherwise, this video on its own is going to be very educational for you in your understanding of your body and all of the movement that you're doing in your life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what are your abdomen muscles? The biggest thing is that most people mistakenly think that the abdomen muscles are just the six pack abs here in the front of your core, right? That's what we always see in the magazines and everything like that. But believe it or not, it's not just here in the rectus abdominis, that's what it's called. Those are the rectus, the ones that are on top that you see. But your core actually begins all the way up in your neck and it ends all the way down in your pelvic floor. So the perineum, everything down there. That's your entire core. Yes, the front, the side, and the back of your body is your core. This entire area is your core, okay? So not just the six pack abs. So the challenge that I put together for you, the 100 rep six pack abs, you, yes, you will chisel and tone your core and you'll get those six pack abs, but you're going to strengthen and be able to activate this entire core. And you might be wondering, you know, why is that important? Well, your core muscles are involved in more than just your, um, you know, the look of it, right? And also just more of what you would think of just doing crunches, right? So the core is involved in your posture, all of the deep spinal muscles in your back is considered your core. All of the visceral muscles, so the muscles that actually help to protect and um, help move all the organs inside of your stomach area plus all of your breathing muscles. We forget about that. Those are all considered your core muscles. So the ribs, all around the ribs, and your diaphragm, those are all part of your core. Then there's also the, um, the obliques and then the transverse abdominis. So the obliques are, of course, the ones that help you twist and turn this way. And then the transverse is the deepest, deepest part of the core. And these muscles even help you in going to the bathroom or if you're a woman having a child, you know, birthing, I'm sure you guys experience that, right? All those muscles working together to move that. So as you can see, working on your core is pretty important as far as as optimizing your body's function because it is like it's called the core of your body so when you strengthen this area you're going to feel a better efficiency in everyday movement of sitting better you're gonna sit up taller have better posture all of the organs inside of your body are going to work more efficiently your breathing is going to improve and your breath is so important because it helps to navigate your mind, it helps navigate your nervous system, you know, whether you're stressed out or calm, so you're gonna be able to deepen your breathing. All of, you know, your organs are gonna work better, things like digestion and all of those kinds of things that, that use your core muscles, plus your everyday movement, right? You're gonna notice that the pain in your back is going to decrease the more that you focus on your core. Maybe you feel pain in your hips, that will definitely decrease and go away when you strengthen your core. Also, lots of times, tension in our neck and shoulders, this kind of area in the traps, when you, when you work on your core, that will also tend to lighten up and improve. So, I know, there's lots to learn about the abs, and so that's why I'm really excited about this video so that I can share all of this knowledge with you so you can really understand your own body. Okay, so now let's talk about active activating our core. Now, um, go ahead and come into a seated position and the first thing I want you to do is to take your hands onto your ribs and so this is going to help you understand how to breathe into your core. So the best thing that you want to do is, is put your hands here on your ribs and breathe out. So I want you to expand the ribs out. Really, really big expansion. 
exhale. So the biggest thing that happens, the biggest mistake is that we tend to get stuck here in just chest breathing, but you wanna breathe into the hands nice and wide. So do that a few times and you can close your eyes if that helps you to imagine the ribs getting wider and wider with each and every breath. Really let your belly expand and exhale. And you want to practice breathing into the ribs because again, we get stuck in our chest and the importance of breathing into the ribs is it'll help to open up your lungs so you can breathe more efficiently. Good, and then this last one, I want you to think about breathing into your back ribs. So you may need to put your fingers onto your ribs and breathe into your ribs on your back. And let that go, good. So while you're doing your exercises, whether it's running or whatever it is, I want you to think about breathing into the ribs and expanding the ribs out and in. Okay, now the second exercise we're gonna do is we're going to imagine our core as a big tube. So imagine a big inner tube surrounding your entire core here. Now I want you to take a big inhale in, and imagine filling up that big inner tube. Okay, so you're, you're just expanding every which way, front, side, and back. Now you're gonna hold your breath, and then you're going to tighten everything while you hold your breath. So tighten it all, and now you're going to palpate. So that means just touch your body. So you're gonna touch your front, touch your side, touch your back while holding your breath. Just make it as tight as you can. See if you can just feel those muscles everywhere. Feel, feel, feel and then exhale out. Obviously I couldn't hold the breath because I was talking, but that's what you're gonna do. So let's do that all together if you didn't do it yet. So you're going to inhale, expand wide, really, really wide, front, side, back. Imagine that tube around your entire torso. You're trying to get as big as you can. And then suspend the breath on the inhale, hold, and then press everything in, compress it in, compress and press, good. Now hit everything, just touch all your muscles, just feel it, feel, 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 and let it go. So this is a really good way to, again, activate the mind-body connection. Sometimes we just need to feel our own body and understand what's happening there inside of the body. Okay, so now we're gonna take it down to the mat, and I'm gonna show you where you are on the mat. So this is really important because you need to know, you know what's uh, anterior pelvic tilt, posterior pelvic tilt, and what's neutral spine. So just go ahead and place your hands down on the ground and I just want you to practice tilting the pelvis one way and then tilting the pelvis in the other way. So just notice what that does to your core. Notice where your core gets activated and where it gets, um, where it expands. And this is really good for your mind to know what your range of motion is. So a lot of the exercises that we do in the 100 rep six pack abs challenge, you're going to, it's gonna require you to press your low back onto the floor. So if that's difficult for you, then you know where you need to start, right? You need to engage and press the belly button down into the spine, really use all these core muscles to get the spine nice and flat down onto the ground, and then you're going to release it out. But doing this exercise of going into both ranges of motion helps your brain understand where your range of motion is so it knows how far it can go. So just keep doing that rocking back and forth, and then you can add a breath here. So you can inhale as you tilt the pelvis up, exhale as you tilt the pelvis under. Inhale, and again, keep practice your breathing. Practice breathing into the side ribs, and then exhale it all out as you press the belly button down to the floor and into your spine. Good, again, inhale in, expand the ribs. Exhale. This time, let's hold it down here on the mat. Hold the low back on the floor, good. And then find breath even here. So you're going to inhale, keeping the belly button down, and you're just going to expand into the ribs. Keeping the spine flat on the ground, exhale. Bring everything compressed down. Again, inhale in, breathe into the side ribs. Keeping the spine on the mat. And exhale, keeping the spine on the mat. Good. 
Do that a few more times. And if you have a hard time doing this, what, what's a really quick way to activate those muscles is give yourself a cough, like <coughs> do a little fake cough. <coughs> Notice what happens, right? The ribs immediately pop down. They, they tighten in, everything condenses in. That's exactly where you wanna be. And that's where I started when I, I had a really hard time locating my core. And I would always give a little <coughs> cough because then I knew where I could put my ribs down on the floor like that, okay? So those are some amazing exercises for you to get to know your core, understand how to activate it, and also understand how to breathe within the activation of the core. So lots of good, yummy information in here to help you take control of your body, and not only that, but actually activate those muscles so you can get those toned, chiseled, six-pack abs that you've been looking for. Okay, I'm Action Jacqueline. I can't wait to hear how you like this video. Comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and go ahead and go sign up for that 100 rep six-pack abs challenge if you haven't yet. Okay, I will see you in the next video. Bye.